What is going on here? I just came in to let you know that we have water. Yay! That's awesome. We have water. Yeah, but oh. apparently that's not the least of my worries right now. No. Yeah, well, the uh, wh fridge is not cooling. What? Yeah, so uh, remember eight months ago when the fridge stopped cooling? I heard that the fridge uh, thing, the... Comes yeah, on. Yes, that is a very technical yeah, term. <laughs> Like everything stops for a while when we look into each other's eyes. How could I ever let you go now when you're looking like that? Can't get enough of this. Being with you is a never ending sunshine. Got a new bike. It's a beauty. Well, look at that. So it looks like we have to do a one for one. So now that you got a new one, what do you do with your old one? Say for sale. No, you donate it. Oh, you donate it. You yeah. give it to someone special. Yeah. Well, look at that. And it's purple. Yes. Look at that. All right. Well, let's load that bad boy up and have fun for the 4th of July. We can have fun. Now you have to teach her how to use gears. Oh, you'll learn. You, you, you don't want to be like daddy on Mackinac Island. Can't get enough of this Being with you is like never ending sunshine Feels like everything stops for a while When we look into each other's eyes How could I ever let you go now When you're looking like that Can't get enough of this Being with you is a never ending sunshine A never ending sunshine So I'm just going to come out and say it. My failures are epic. My plumbing skills are zero. I have no idea why this thing is leaking, but it is absolutely leaking. Enjoying the Ishpeming Parade on a Saturday morning. What better thing to do? Happy Fourth. I love that we're right by the restaurant. We got breakfast coming and a parade. So awesome. Happy Fourth. <laughs> I come very good. <laughs> a cheese omelet with a butter toast for the girls to share. Breakfast champions right here.
goodness, was that a great parade or what? That was fantastic. It was awesome. Now we're stuck a little bit in traffic. Everybody's leaving at the same time. But it was so convenient. convenient. We uh, put our chairs right um, in front of basically our breakfast place. So, And it turned out really good. So we're super excited. I'm trying to fully understand Where to how go. the traffic patterns run in the north. Yes. They're, it's It's very different. Yeah, and uh, after this, now we're going to a place called Menards, and they have all kinds of parts. So we're going to see if we can find the part for our water heater so it stops leaking. Between Ace Hardware, Lowe's, and Menards, we will find our... Do we don't even have it? Wait. Oh. I cut off the end of it. Yep. So... Now we're, we're going to find it. The best way to match your plumbing is to take it with you. That is true. So that's where we're headed. And then we're going to have some ice cream. How about that? Can we have ice cream before we go look for any of this? Uh, no. That way we can just take it with us. That's your sweet treat if I know that you can fix that. Oh I, oh, I can fix it. <laughs> There's no doubt that I can fix it. I just don't want to fix it. That's the difference. And, well, I, and I think most RVers are like that. You're like, eh. I'll put that off to a later date. I don't even fix that right now. Well, I don't care about that if it doesn't involve us not having water at all. See, so. that's where the priority comes in. You're like, I don't need to worry about trim and molding. I don't need. But as soon as something like this happens and you have no water, that's a problem. <laughs> all right. So after a quick run to the store, I now have a $50 cinch clamp tool, which I didn't have before. I now have a 90 degree elbow and the clamps. So I am gonna put this together, cinch that bad boy on, connect it up, and let's see if this thing leaks again. Second time. That bad boy is on there. Oh, you did it? Mm-hmm. Look that thing. You even had to buy a, a tool for it, right? A very expensive tool. What is that? It's a cinch tool. Mm. It so. automatically clamps the uh, rings down oh. for PEX uh, clips and everything else. So I've got the PEX tubing back here. I have shark bike fittings, but I never got the cinch tool oh. until now when I actually needed it for this. Nice. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. This is, this is a job. That's this awesome. It's a man's job. Yes. Plumber extraordinaire. Mm, I agree. I clamp, I cinched that thing down. <laughs> I owned it. Yes, you did. Now I hope Can we now turn on leave. the water? Oh, no. Oh. If you turn on the water, it'll shoot out like a geyser right now. No, not right now. When you're... It's Screw like a, it on. This is like a little bidet. <laughs> Fountain just coming right up. And the water pressure? Oh, uh, yes. And the water pressure <laughs> in the bidet. Should it prove insufficient? <laughs> is there a, an adjustment that could be made to possibly increase the pressure substantially? I don't think so, no. So I want to tape the living heck out of this with uh -huh. some silicone tape. Now, when I say tape the living heck out of it, I mean, this is one of those bigger the blob, better the job. Nice. <laughs> oh, I love that. I'm going to wrap that thing up to where I can barely fit it on and just strap wrench that thing down. And I never want to take this wall down again. I want to make sure that we do not suffer from the infamous dribble that affects everyone. And that's a real thing. Yeah. When it comes to a water heater, most damage is under the water heater. All the wooden planks and everything you have, the support boards and all that, mm -hmm. it's it's under that because of the infamous dribble that mm -hmm. just drop drop for, for you know, like And six you don't months. notice it because it's not a gush. It now, just drips really I am going to go on the record and say again, these are great. <laughs> but don't do like I did and tie it all up and cinch it down 
into one little package because all the water is down here and it just kind of just sits there and yeah. this is dry as a bone it looks really good oh yeah it's, for, for storing it's like a it's like a gift that is true put it in your in your christmas stocking that is true just doesn't do, maybe if i had it like that and face down on the ground that's not a bad idea so anyway you can take these this out and i recommend just stapling it down right up underneath something because when this thing goes off you know this thing is well loud. if you staple it down how are you gonna turn it off well my idea behind it oh, was to sit here and not you know rumble around and you know fall off as we're going down the road so i zip tied it together and i put it underneath the nautilus area so when i get that spray and it just rains oh I, oh everyone will know because these things are high pitch loud but i think i need another one specifically underneath the uh i think you bought a multi-pack i think we have one somewhere i actually forgot where i put them i think i bought three of them mm -hmm. and we put them in our amazon store but i'll be honest with you i put one here i have no idea where i put the other two i might have put one under the kitchen i have no idea where the third one is <laughs> we'll find it i tell you what if water ever touches it we'll find it that is true and if the batteries go low it goes off too yeah so all right so i got to test to see if that's big enough. I don't even know if that will actually thread on. I we'll never see. tested that. Oh no. Where's my silicone tape? Oh, there it is. Two. So I'm just gonna come out and say it. My failures are epic. My plumbing skills are zero. I have no idea why this thing is leaking, but it is absolutely leaking. So I now have to figure out, now that I know that it's not what I just put together it's the actual fitting that goes onto the tank and i'm sure that this fitting that goes on the, to the tank is probably split because there's no other explanation for it i just you know brand new l angle angle fitting straps the whole nine yards it's pristine so if it's not what i did then it's something else so i gotta go continue my troubleshooting so don't tell pam because she's gonna <laughs> look at me like you're the worst you're the worst. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm not calling. Why? I'm not calling anyone. Ah. We will fix this. So that means if we can't find it locally, we have no water for three days. Your Fourth of July weekend is going to be epic. Yeah, we'll just take a. <gasps> we'll just go swimming in Lake Superior. It's only ice cold, but that's perfect. It is the largest freshwater lake in the world yes do you think that would be mad if we use soap not at all <laughs> hey what's going on on lake superior it's a na it's a natural phenomenon there's like bubbles everywhere there might be a soap factory in duluth <laughs> i think you're fine <laughs> All right, so I am here at Ride North. The adventure starts here, ridenorth.com, which is a store right outside of uh, the park that we're staying at and right next to the camping world here in Ishpeming. And believe it or not, had no idea. I started with a question. I said, this little thing right here that goes into the uh, hot water heater is split. It actually has a crack in it. And I saw that, it's a little tiny one, but when you put some pressure on it, it just starts to leak. So I said, I need to find this. And I had no expectations. I was like, there's no way on the 4th of July weekend that they're gonna have anything. It turns out they had one left. It went from a plastic piece to this thing right here. And I was like, my goodness, this thing is a beast. So you know what, kudos to them. These guys have the answers for, you know, for any RVer. They, they help troubleshoot. So I just wanna give a big shout out to ridenorth.com you know i paid for it in full but i just want to make sure that you guys know that but this is pretty spectacular to even find this but i actually had to go to the ace hardware which is right next door to get an extension just because of the threads didn't line up or whatever but problem solved so right in the exact i could have walked here i literally am you know one minute you know 60 seconds away from here so I, and i drove don't ask me why so I'm going to head back, I'm going to put all this together, and I'm going to see if the leak continues, which it shouldn't. This is the third time. 
if it doesn't fix it now, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna immediately blame someone else. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to go for number four because we will fix this one way or the other. So heading back. What is going on here? The fridge is not cooling. What? Yeah, so uh, remember eight months ago when the fridge stopped cooling? I heard that the fridge uh, thing, the... Comes yeah, on. Yes, that is a very technical yeah, term. <laughs> It comes on, so I was like, well, everything seems to be working. And, and then I remembered, oh my gosh, eight months ago, for some reason, sometimes it won't do its automatic defrost. So it's just, the whole thing is frozen up. So the freezer is working, but there's no air flowing into the fridge. So I pulled out turkey legs and I was like, well, let's make turkey legs tonight. It was the first time we ever bought just raw turkey legs to cook in the Instant Pot. And I was so excited. I was like, when I pulled them out, I was like, well, they don't feel so cold and they smell a little off. But I was like, well, maybe I haven't smelled turkey like that before. But then I realized it was like 53 in the fridge. So everything is like not good. Just another problem. <laughs> on the 4th of July weekend. <laughs> well, that's gonna take a hot minute. Yes, it is. What to do? It's just another thing in our RV life. <laughs> I cannot believe that this, it was the cherry on top of the sundae. Yeah. Guys, I, I don't, I think we have reach the limit of RV repairs right now. Yeah. Aside of a tree falling on the rig. Please don't say this that. This is, this is really water leaks, frozen fridges. I mean, just keep it going. Yeah. You're just like, why not? You know, bent axles waiting. We're still, you know we're still waiting for Dexter. Okay. We haven't heard anything. Even though a lot has happened over the last week, but one thing that we're thankful for that these were all easy fixes and things that we could do ourselves and they were not like outrageously expensive <laughs> like the tree <laughs> there is no tree so <laughs> we uh, don't forget hail we had hail we did have hail we had hail we have bad axles we have bad tires we have leaks you know what i mean there is an ace a camping world and this man right here <laughs> <laughs> and woman thank you you're you're busy right now. I'm the one with the blow dryer. Yeah, you have a blow dryer. You you have you have to get that thought out. Yeah, so I don't know if you have uh, run into that. We have a residential fridge, and eight months ago the same thing happened before that it just didn't do its automatic defrost. That's right. This is the so, second time. Yeah, this is the second time. So we knew how to well we know how to fix it because of the first time, but um, I don't know why it just stops randomly stops working, but it works in between. So I don't know. So you guys let us know because this is the second time. I mean, it's sure it's, it's been eight you know, months. It's been you know six seven months or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I mean, twice a year is that a normal thing for it to just freeze <laughs> Stop over? Freezing. Yeah. Because we're minus two turkey legs right now. Yes, and I was so excited. She she was like, something doesn't smell right. Yeah, it right. just didn't smell right. It yeah. smelled really off. So hmm, I don't know. So we're just gonna have to get pizza to go. Gluten-free, of course. Gluten-free pizza. <laughs> Coming right up. Add, uh, add it to the list of culinary experiences while I, we're doing maintenance. I think it's a great idea. I'll defrost, you go get pizza. I knew that, I knew that was coming. <laughs> we're hungry. Again. <laughs> so I was looking. This is, now that I look at the box of what this is, this is a, Oops. this is a backflow <laughs> preventer. That's what this is. So basically, this is going to go in the tank and stops backflow and pressure from going back into the line. So water only goes one way. So I'm looking at this. This is so much heavier and durable than this little plastic piece. Because that's what's on your rig is that's this little plastic piece right here. Nice catch. This bad boy, I know I got that on camera. This bad boy right here, now that's the man's man. This is, this is heavy. It's never going to fail. In fact, the tank will fail before this thing does. But I was just looking and comparing these two. I mean, this is, they don't use great parts. I'm gonna, I was going to be honest with you guys. They don't use great parts because this right here, there's a crack in this little thing and we've never touched this. So what's the saying? 
every time something breaks, it's an opportunity to what? Make it better. Yes. And this is absolutely making Gonna this make it better. better. Right here. So this is new, clamp elbow is new, the nipple extension, and the backflow. So one, two, three, four. Four pieces, all new, and no leak. Okay, so I just put on the backflow, I used the goop. I put on the extension, or they call it the nipple, but that extension, so I can, that threaded uh, extension between the backflow and my plastic uh, 90 degree. So I have that in, I connected it up. It looks fantastic. I have no idea if it's leak proof. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the water and then cross my fingers. So hopefully in about five seconds, we have water. All right. Just got back, water's on, climb back in here, and I think we are done. Third time's the charm. It looks fantastic. I don't see any water yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the hot water heater, let the pressure build up, make sure everything's working right, running right. No water is a great sign. So hopefully all this paid off and we're back in business. And hopefully nothing else will break while we're here because I don't know if I can take any more. Now I'm, I'm still trying to do the honeydew list that Pam was talking about with all the things I gotta get done. So I don't need additional things to break, like random water coming out of the bottom of your rig. So yeah, I think this is all in all a good success for the 4th of July weekend. We're just gonna keep the momentum going. The most I'm gonna do this weekend is pretty much the backsplash for the toilet. That's it, because I've been putting that off forever and that's like literally easy, peel and stick. So 